Hi guys, today I'll be making this end table on the right and on the left is my previous project. I'll link it to the end of this video so you can check it out when you're done watching this one. I'll be using an empty spool but not to worry if you don't have a spool, you can always make one. You can use an empty oats container along with cardboard or if you have wood disc, you can use those. So I measure the space between the top and the base and I'll be using this piece of foam board to close that gap. So the foam board, it has the foam in between two layers of paper. So I'm just using my exacto knife to make lines between that first layer and the foam. And I'm doing that so it will be easier for me to bend. And then I'll just use my hot glue to apply it right on the edge so it will line up perfectly with the edges of the spool. So if it's your first time here, I just want to give you a warm welcome. My name is Nisi and the channel name is Budget Friendly Creations. I post videos every Friday and I would appreciate if you could stick around. Subscribe to my channel, it's free. And turn your bell notifications on so you'll get notified every Friday when I upload my new videos. I would also appreciate a thumbs up as it helps to grow my channel so I can continue to bring you weekly tutorials just like this one. Next I'll be adding this piece of cardboard onto the top so my mirror won't be pressing on those metal pieces. And I'll just use my hot glue to do that. And I'll be using the 14 inch mirror from Michaels. The mirror is actually 13 and 78 inches so I had to fill in a little gap that I had. You'll see what I did. So for the sides I'm going the cheap route. I'm using the bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree. But if you want to get the job done faster you may want to use one like this. It's going to cost you more but you'll get the job done much quicker. I'm just going to use my hot glue to apply them and you want to make sure that you're applying it in a straight line because that first one will determine how the rest will look. So I'm leaving a half an inch at the top where I'm going to put my half inch mirror tiles. I just want to say thank you to my old subscribers that keeps coming back. I appreciate every comment and every thumbs up. So at the front, I'll be making imitation drawers and I'm just going to use my mirror tile to outline the drawers. So I'm just marking out the space for the mirrors and then I'll apply them after. So I just measure out the spots for my mirrors and then I cut my skewers to make the drawer. I should have left these corners open so my mirrors will outline the drawer but I ended up removing them before I was done. So to make sure that everything bonds properly I'm just going to use my Gorilla wood glue and I'm just going to give it one even coat and make sure that it goes between each seam. And this is where I remove those pieces in the corner. I'm just using my blow dryer to warm the hot glue so it will lift easily. So 
So I'm just going to use this gray paint. I got it from Lowe's. It's a pint, I think. Um, I paid $2.50. I got it in the discounted area. And I'm going to give it two coats. And then I'll just apply my mirrors and I'm using my hot glue. You can use mosaic strips for this part, it will go faster. And then I'll use my polyblend non-standard grout to fill the gaps. I have a full list of all the items I used in the description box below. And I'm just cleaning it as I go. It's very easy to clean since the spaces between the mirrors are very tiny. And then I'll just go over with one layer of paint just to get rid of the white growth between the spaces. You could make something like this stand with one inch dowel, but it would require tools. So I'm going to be using these three eight inch um, dowels. And I'm going to be using these screw hooks along with some thumbtacks. So I'll just cut the dowels to 12 inch pieces and I'm using my 220 sanding paper to sand it a little bit to get rid of the rough edges. And then I mark four equal spots where I want my legs to be. So I'm just screwing the first one in the center and then I'll attach two to the side and I'll use six total on each side. And you may want to use five eight inch dowels instead of the three eighths that I'm using. Mine is just a little bit shaky but it's not shaky enough for me to replace them, but you may want to use 5 8 inch. And just use your ruler to measure and make sure that everything is lined up properly. And the second row is just for support. So I'm just going to use my pencil to mark the spot so I can know exactly where to put my thumbtacks. And this will help the dowel to stay in place. And feel free to buy legs. They have the perfect legs for these tables but of course they're very expensive and I don't want to spend that money to buy the legs that's why I'm DIY in this thing you know so I'll be using these knobs I got them on Amazon and I spray paint them white and I'm just using my E6000 to hold them in place and to help hold my legs in place I'm just going to be using these pads So remember I told you the mirror is like an eighth of an inch smaller and I also added my mirror so it added another eighth of an inch. So to hide the gap I'm just using a strip of bling wrap and I'm just going right around the edge. And I got my beveled mirror from Michaels and I'll just add the mirror and that's it. And I'll add my end result in a second. But before you go, please remember to watch my previous project. I'll appreciate it so much. And here's my final result. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you spending the time with me. Please click on the left to watch my previous project.